world. Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the exciting new Prize Maximus Lesser Perfect Game Show. Caesar's Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, Rashad. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Caesar's Challenge. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my sidekick. This is Dan Doherty. Dan, Hi, how you doing, man? How are you? Good, good. I uh, am getting a little tired of all the people that I run into, women mainly, that want to know your phone number, know how they can get in touch with you. Does it happen to you every place you go? Yeah, they're asking about you, though. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I have a wife. Though. You, you, you're I've got married. a skirt. That's the difference. <laughs> God, if I'd only knew that when I was single. The skirt does it, huh? All right, Steve, let's meet our challenger. Our champion returns for her third show, having already won over $14,300 in prizes, including a trip to Jamaica, an entertainment center, and beautiful gold jewelry. This is Babette Griffiths. From Las Vegas, he's a fireman. This is Michael Martin. And from Grand Forks, North Dakota, a theater student, here's Heather Williams. Welcome to the show, everybody, and Heather, you are from Grand Forks, North Dakota. I've been there before. Have you really? Sure. Oh. We had a basketball team that used to go there and play. Neat. Uh, and you are a, uh, your, your 21st birthday today? Yes. Really? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, you're a dancer? You're a lead dancer in Me and My Girl? Yes, I'm doing summer theater this year in North Dakota. And Doing that, it's a lot of fun. So if you win today, you might maybe show us a little few steps, maybe. Well, <laughs> maybe. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Right? Okay. And Mike, you are from here in Las Vegas. You are a fireman. Yes. You enjoy bicycling and smashing doors. How do those things go together? Man's got to have a hobby. Yeah, but they have brakes on a bike. You can stop a bike. Yeah, but why would you want to? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play football? You have a linebacker kind of mentality. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't let me. <laughs> Are you too dangerous? No, it's just, they just wouldn't let me. All right, good luck today, all right, Mike? And I bet you have won everything that we've had to offer here. This is your third day. You've won over $14,000 in prizes, and good luck today. Maybe today is the day you can win the car. All right? Thank you. All right, today our top prize package is valued at over $10,000 and includes a Caribbean beach fantasy vacation, a beautiful bedroom ensemble, a music center, and kitchen appliances. And they can all be yours with the dollars that you're about to win. Now, whoever wins the most dollars by the end of our game will not only be our champion, but also have the opportunity to face Caesar's challenge and the chance to drive home in this hot new sporty Geo Tracker. <laughs> answering questions and unscrambling words. Now, here is our first word. And the subject is balls. <laughs> now, we're buzzing in first with the correct answer to a question. In round one, we'll earn $100. You'll choose one letter. We'll move it to its correct position. And then you'll have five seconds to guess the word or the name. Now, if you're correct, the remaining letters will each pay off at $100 each. And if you find the letter that belongs in our lucky slot. Oh, the slot's up there. I'm confused. And then identify the word. Watch this. You thought I did it on purpose. And then identify the word, which star, our instant jackpot starts out each day at $500. That'll be added to your winnings if you get that. Right? Okay? Ready? The topic is... Ball. <laughs> the topic is balls. Soccer ball, racquetball, or basketball. Which is traditionally white? Yes, that is. The soccer ball? The soccer ball is white. It's white. Pick a letter. The L, please. The L, please. <laughs> Five seconds. The topic is balls. Elvis Presley, Little Richard, or Jerry Lee Lewis? <laughs> yes, Heather. Jerry Lee Lewis? Who had the hit record, Great Balls of Fire, <laughs> Jerry Lee <Lewis>. Lewis? <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Sing a letter. The Y, please. The Y, please. Five. 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 If you didn't get the word in five seconds, you pick up an additional $500. 
subject is balls. <laughs> Wood, steel, or glass? In the cane mutiny, what kind of balls did the nervous Captain Queeg roll in his hands? Yes, Mike. Steel. Steel balls is correct. <laughs> Here's a letter. Uh, I'd like to have the A, please. The A, please. The topic is balls. Plantar, pedslar, or socklar? What is the medical word for the ball of your foot? Yes, Bebe. Plantar. Plantar is exactly right. Pick a letter. The C, please. The C, please. Five seconds. Topic is balls. Iris, cornea, or retina? Which is the layer of tissue covering the eyeball? Yes, Bebe. Cornea. Cornea is correct. Pick a letter. The R. The R, please. R. Crystal. Is it crystal? The crystal ball. And everybody thought that that topic was going to be crystal balls. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's a proper show. You are in, in the lead now with $500, and Mike and Heather are both on the board with $100 apiece. Here is our second word. And it pertains to world leaders. Letters are still worth uh, $100 each. Our lucky slot is now worth $1,000. Topic is world leaders. Follows right after the topic of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt, Dwight Eisenhower, or Harry Truman. Which American president was an army general during World War... Yes, Mike? Dwight Eisenhower. During World War II, Dwight Eisenhower is correct. Pick a letter. Um, the Y, please. Five seconds. Topic is world leaders. Jordan, Saudi Arabia, or Kuwait. Which nation is ruled by King Hussein? Yes, that is. Jordan. Jordan is correct. Pick a letter. T. The T, please. Five seconds. Here's the lucky clock. Just in five seconds, you pick up an additional $1,000. Yeltsin. Is it Yeltsin? It is Yeltsin and Babette. Our returning champion is way out front once again with $2,100, followed by Mike with $200, and Heather with $100. Steve, would you please tell us about that beach fantasy vacation and the bedroom? Of course. The Grand Caz Beach Club, a small secluded oceanfront resort, beautiful beach, fine cuisine, water sports and tennis, an ideal getaway, furnished by Grand Caz Beach Club. And a beautiful bedroom ensemble, including Pop of Air by Burlington House, a vivid brush stroke design comforter ensemble that affords the ultimate in complete room decorating, machine washable, furnished by Burlington House for quality and fashion. Huh? All right, thanks, Steve. Let us in our next round pay off at $200 each. And we will be right back here to play more of Caesar's Challenge right after these messages. Now, at $200 a letter in round two, here is our next word. Now, as you can see, it is an eight-letter word, and the subject is science fiction. Our lucky slot is now worth $500. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, or Han Solo. In Star Wars, who piloted the Millennium Falcon? Yes, Mike. Han Solo. Han Solo's correct. Pick a letter. Uh, the K, please. The K, please. Five seconds. The topic is science fiction. Mike, did you bring people with you, or are they just uh, your entourage you have here? I'm here by myself. Really? Well, these <laughs> people, they like... They like... H.G. Wells, Harry Potter, or Jules Verne, or Stephen King, whose character's Jules Verne, or Stephen King, whose character's journey to the center of the earth? Yes, that. H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells, no. Yes, Mike. Jules Verne. Jules Verne is correct. Pick a letter. Oh, boy. The yes, S, please. The yes, S, please. Five seconds. The topic is science fiction. Peter Wells.
Rottweiler, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or Sylvester Stallone? Who was RoboCop? Yes, Mike. Peter Weller. Peter Weller, Weller is correct. Pick a letter. Um, the T, please. The T, please. Five seconds. Topic is science fiction. Trekkies. The word Trekkies. Are you sure you didn't bring these people with you? <laughs> I'm positive. They, <laughs> you're positive? I'm positive. They know you're a fireman, and if they're in trouble, then you're the person that comes. You just picked up $1,000. You have moved into second place with $1,800. Now, here's our next word. And the subject is discoveries. Our lucky slot is now worth $1,000. Verrazano, DeSoto, or Pizarro? Who discovered New York Harbor? Is that it? Pizarro? Pizarro, no. Yes, Heather. DeSoto? DeSoto, no. <laughs> Mike? Pizarro? Hey, right. Yes, you're right. The third one? You're right. Pizarro. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, the B, please. The B, please. You pick up an additional $1,000. Topic is discoveries. Vic Dunlop, Charles Goodyear, or Roy Firestone, who accidentally discovered vulcanized rubber. Yes, I bet. Firestone? Roy Firestone? He has a sports show on TV. Oh, well. <laughs> so that is wrong. Yes, Heather. Goodyear? Charles Goodyear is correct. Pick a letter. The G Five seconds. Topic is discovery. The birds, the turtles, or the beetles. Who was, who was discovered in 1961 by Brian Epstein? Yes, Lynette. The birds. No, not the birds. Yes, Mike. The turtles? Not the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Heather. That would be the beetles. The beetles. <laughs> That's the right the the Y, please. The Y, please. Five seconds. Topic is discoveries. Potassium, Lana Turner, or Pluto. Which of these was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh? Yes, Mike. Pluto? Pluto is correct. Pick a letter. Um, the A, please. The A, please. Antibody. Is it antibody? Smashing down doors is now taken first place with three thousand dollars, followed by Bet by Bet with twenty one hundred, and Heather with five hundred. Now, once again, Steve will tell us about two more of the prizes included in today's ten thousand dollar package. Enesco's Small World of Music Action Musical, a magnificent example of creativity and technology blended to perfection in this extraordinarily detailed alpine terrain, Rock City, furnished by Enesco. And Gibson's Epiphone Les Paul Standard Electric Guitar is a rock and roll rocket. Quality in every detail and design for high power performance, furnished by Gibson USA. We will be right back with our third round and $300 a letter, which means it's anybody's game right here at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Contestants are chosen from right here in our Caesars Palace audience. So we hope to see you very soon here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now here are the scores. Mike in the lead with $3,000, Babette with $2,100, and Heather with $500. At stake is that sporty new Geo Tracker right there behind me. That one there is the one that's at stake. Now, this is our nine-letter round. And the letters in this round are worth $300 a piece, which means it's anybody's game. You can get right back in it right here. Here's our next word. And the topic is Spielberg. Our lucky slot is now worth $1,500. Alice Walker, Peter Benchley, or Michael Crichton. Who wrote the novel which was adopted for the Spielberg film Jurassic Park? Yes, I bet. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton is correct. Pick a letter. The M, please. The M, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If 
you can guess the word in five seconds, you pick up an additional $1,500. Getting wet, eating salt, or having sex. <laughs> Don't get to read the rest of that. That horn means that our time's up, so what we do is you put your hands on your buzzers. We're going to start moving letters one at a time. The lucky slot is now out of play. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the word will win the remaining dollars. But if you are wrong, you are out of here, and we keep going. You ready? The topic is Spielberg. Spielberg. Yes, Rebecca. Cinematic. Is it cinematic? <laughs> wow, that bad. Wow, that was really, that was fantastic. You came from behind, you were trailing, and you actually needed that word to win. You got the word, and you once again have won. Thank you. All right, you all uh, picked up the kitchen appliances with your $3,300. Great. All right, now for Mike, the man who likes to smash down doors, and Heather, we really enjoyed having you in the game. We have some parting gifts, and Caesar's Palace would like you and a guest to enjoy dinner at the incredible Palatium and a headliner show right here in the Circus Maximus Showroom. Thanks for coming on. We enjoyed it. Now, in just a moment, Babette will be back to face Caesar's Challenge. But first, let's hear about a couple more of the prizes that she's won. Gibson's gas range with an extra large self-cleaning oven, waist-high broiler, and fuel-saving electronic ignition for high-quality performance furnished by Gibson. And Gibson's quiet, portable dishwasher featuring three levels of washing action, radiant heat drying, and a self-cleaning soil separator furnished by Gibson. And coming up next... Now is the moment that we've been waiting for. Babette is now going to face season challenge for the third day in a row. At stake is this beautiful, hot, new, sporty Geo Tracker. Steve, please tell Babette about her car. The 1993 <laughs> Geo Tracker Convertible with a 1.6-liter engine and a 5-speed transmission. It's a versatile and sporty vehicle for all around town, furnished by your Chevy Geo dealer. No, Roy Firestone does a uh, talk show. On <laughs> she was just talking about Roy Firestone. There are uh, 200 letters here in our spinning cage, minus the ones which have already come out. They're going to continue one at a time, however many it takes until our computers tell us that we have at least one nine-letter dictionary certified word. Our producers will then choose the word, and you will see the letters in the order that they have rolled out. Now, seeing that this is your third day on the show, you'll be able to move three letters, and we'll move them to the correct position. Oh, good. You'll have 10 seconds to guess the word, and then you'll have two or three hours to take this car off our hands, all right? Check. Ready? Yes. Let the tournament begin. says stop and we do here are the nine letters in the order that they came out dan please which three letters would you like for us to place in their proper position babette the r the r the d the d and the t please and the t please you have 10 seconds audience may we ask for absolute silence A good side of this, even though you didn't get the word, you have won over $17,000 in prizes. Those are yours to keep. Now, there's more good news. If you win again tomorrow, you'll be able to come back and move four letters of an all new word. And then, would you please get the car off our stage, please? Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Now, we're going to be right back as we give our audience the chance to move some letters and win some dollars. Dan and I are going out there, so please don't go away.
participants may receive the following new Lee Press On body tattoos. Press On a fashion statement last for days easy off. Press On fun. Lee Press On tattoos. A gift certificate is selected from service merchandise. Choose from their catalog or redeem at any one of their over many stores nationwide. Furnished by service merchandise. Kenwood's trio of state-of-the-art appliances for the kitchen, toaster, deep fryer, and the Chef XL mixer for the beginner to the professional chef. Furnished by Kenwood appliances. And at last, nationally advertised nail products at an affordable price. Fancy finger sculpture nails, acrylic, or gel quality made affordable by Lee Nails. All right, we have a bucket full of silver dollars and pieces of dollars gold cover chocolate and dance. We're going to start putting some five-letter words up on our slot machine. If you know the word, you get a fistful of coins, and you guys are newlyweds, so you guys should probably get a chance first, right? See, this is an easy one. Stuff. Is it stuff? Yes, it is stuff. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Right over there, see? Torch. Is it torch? You guys are so smart.